Hi guys. Hello, hello. It's Darlene with Chocolate Tour and Chloe. <laughs> Happy Thursday. What are you doing, baby? She's like, um, I wanted to be up here. She like practically hopped into my lap. <laughs> How is everybody? And there's Marley. Hi, Miss Marley. Um, yeah, Chloe got Chloe got a really close haircut before we went to the cabin. Yeah, you did. <laughs> she looks a lot like our Georgie now. You look like Georgie. You do. All right, I'm going to put you down. I'm going to put you down. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay, go ahead and go through. I'll move that. I have stuff in her way down here. I have a tear tray down here. <laughs> We're going to make a tear tray, guys. So it is time to do our Halloween tear tray. There is a bazillion pieces. I didn't even organize them for you guys. So we have the center of the tear tray, our little circles that I always make, that I've been making forever. <laughs> and then um, we also have part of the little um, tear tray kit that Takatora has. So there's the book. Um, there's the little sign, the rolling pin, um, this little tiny board and base. What else? Oh, the, the little cutting board. Okay. And then there's a bazillion cut pieces. Okay. <laughs> so there's two, there's two other kits here that are cut. So we're doing this transfer, the centerpiece. We're doing the centerpieces. We're doing a lot. I might have to dig out other talk pieces. And I did open a take note. I did because, you know, <laughs> I it's just a perfect color. So some of you guys have the green. Some of you don't. Okay, then, then we're doing this transfer. This one is, which one's this called? Witchy Vibes. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff on that. And then there's our little... Which one's this? Which is brew with our kitty cat, and we'll do we'll do a little um, beaded gar beaded garland bead whatever country beads. <laughs> we'll do some beads with that. So we have a lot to do, a lot to get done today. I pre painted everything because there is no way we could paint this and get this all done in less than an hour. You know. <laughs> We're going to be lucky to chalk all this in an hour. There's a lot of little pieces, okay? So lots of lots of little things. Um, we're going to probably go pretty quickly with most of it. And hopefully I didn't make any mistakes on painting them the wrong color. I tried to paint them the right color last night, thinking of what color would I be chalking them. I have my Shimmer um, Plum. I have my Hey Pumpkin. I have bright white. I didn't do, um, I sh maybe I should do shimmer. No, I think I want bright white because bright white is really good. And then I have shimmer shadow. I have our orange peel and I have take note. I think those colors are going to be enough. I don't think I need any other colors. If I do, I'll grab some out of there. Colors that I painted. Um, I did our purple that we used the other day. What was that? Lavender and then black. And I used, um, burnt orange. I used a, um, like the pumpkin color. What color is that? <laughs> it's, it's the pumpkin color that we use. And then I did have some sour apple, um, that I painted. Like this is the witch's, this is the witch's, um, feet and it's going to stand in a little sand and it it's going to have purple stripes on it. So I did that and then some gray. Okay. So a couple of, a couple of different colors there. Not a, not a lot of colors, just trying to stick with all the same colors that we're using here, basically. It's going to be fun. Can't wait. If you're out there watching, just say hello. If you're coming back and watching the replay, just put hashtag replay so I know we're, you were here. Make sure that you sprinkle because somebody's going to get one of these little wood cutout kits. <laughs> And I know, I know a lot of you already have the transfers. I'm going to have the entire thing as a kit over in the VIP group. If you already have the transfers, um, you can purchase all the other pieces. I, I do have some of the, um, the little kits, the tier tray kits from Chocolate Tour. If you need me to add that to your order, you just let me know. But all of the wood cutouts are available over in our, our um, they're in SC2, but in the Shopify website, all of them are available over there. And we're going to get started. Let's see who's here. Happy Thursday. It is Thursday all day. <laughs> I'll be long. It is Thursday. Um, Come on. Let me see my comments, please. <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't wait to do this one. I know it's a long one, but I had to prepaint. So, hi, Tammy. How are you? Good morning, Carrie. Hi, Doris, my sister. Hi, Julie. Hi, Deb, my sister. Hi, Vicky. Good morning, Cheryl. Hi, Karen Monko. Hello, Chris. Hi, Sandy. Happy Thursday. Hi, Pam. How are you? Hi, Nana. Hi, Karen West. Hello, Carol. Hi, Elizabeth. Sorry, going really fast to try to get started. <laughs> Hi, Sarah and Tony. Good morning, Marsha. Thanks for sprinkling. Um, Tony, I'm excited for this one, too. I really am. Um, let me make sure it's on my... Uh, there we go. Let me turn down my volume. I need to sprinkle this. Um, I need to sprinkle. I need to share it over to my... VIP really quick. I like to have everything over there as well so that some people don't um, just go to my page. They go to VIP. Um, there we go. All right. Okay. So, so go ahead and sprinkle if you can. Um, we're going to just, let's start with this first. Um, let me put you down to the project here. Everything's going to be upside down. Um, and I need to go in so you can see more. My camera is like way off. Let me see. Um, can I, can I fix it at all? <laughs> I don't know what's going on with it. It's right above me. Oh my goodness. Um, I need to really adjust all that. It's really hard guys. <laughs> okay. Well, you're going to see part of my lap here. That's me. All right. We're going to, let's start with this part first. Let's just do this. Um, oh, look at, see, I, I painted a tear tray. Okay. So I painted one gray, grayish. And then I ink the edges. So this one's going to be specifically for this Halloweeny, Halloweeny tear tray. <laughs> so I did that. I have extras. I have eight of those extras. If anybody needs one, let's just start somewhere. Let's start with this part, and we can put, actually put it into our tear tray, and then we'll get all these other things sorted. Okay, so that way we can just get something off of here. How's everybody? Thanks for sprinkling. Hi, Laura. Um, oh, listen to me while you work. Yay. Hopefully your day is going well. Hi, hi, Melanie. How are you? Hi, Marty. Hi, Diane. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. We're getting closer and closer to my goal. <laughs> like I said yesterday, I have, a, I have a goal for the end of the month. I would love to be at my 8,000. I'm close. I, I was like, I don't know, maybe 50 away. I think we can do it. I think we can. I think we can. Okay. I know it seems like there is a mess on my desk. There really is. And look at it. It's still crooked. Um, I'm not going to worry about it. I can't worry about it. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. Um, I've got to get my cameras fixed. Okay. So this is made to go on to the circle. Okay. So yes, um, Chocotour has their own circles. Um, yes, Darlene's been making these circles since the beginning of the time and I'm going to continue making them so they have they have a full circle they sell a full circle um I've been making the half circles I am not going to stop <laughs> not going to stop because anyways we we were the beginning of all of that and then lots of other people are making them which is fine you know what I didn't invent a circle <laughs> And they didn't invent a circle. So we're going to go ahead. Let's do this in black. Let's do our little bats in black. So these, th there's going to be two of these. So we're going to do one here and then we're going to go and do the other side. So you might already have the little chocotour circles. If you don't, you, you are welcome to purchase these. We have these on the website. I did fuzz it a couple of times. <coughs> we're going to use, um, we're going to use black. We're going to use our shimmer shadow. Like I said, we're going to go pretty quickly, guys, because um, otherwise we're not going to get this done. <laughs> and I can't wait to have this um, on my display. So we will be starting to switch over. I know we have Christmas in the background and all of that. We're going to start to make our fall Halloween-ish um, decorations so that we can swap out my the wall behind me. <laughs> so that means we need to make a lot of stuff. Because there's a lot of stuff behind me. And when I pull that down, um, it look at how cute this is. When I pull everything down, it looks really bare. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. Those are adorable. All right. And then just line the second one up. It's pretty easy to do that because these are transparent. 
So there's the little circle thing. Just line that up. Plop some chalk paste on there. Easy peasy, guys. And now I'm thinking, do I really want to have shimmer on there? Maybe I do need to have shimmer. Um, you guys tell me, so for on the black one, should I have shimmer um, frost? Because I have shimmer shadow on here. Or is bright white going to be okay? You guys tell me. I can dig in my drawer for a shimmer if I have to. My shimmer was a little dried out. That was why I didn't. Um, my shimmer um, frost is a little dried out. Look at how cute that is. I love that. That is so adorable. And then just plop it down onto here. Let me see comments here. Um, Tony says, need prayers for your friend, for your son's friend, Clint. He was in a very bad motorcycle accident. He's in medical induced coma. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. That is so hard. Motorcycle accidents are just the worst. They're just terrible. Um, hi, Kimberly. Hi, Denise. Don't know if I got to say hi. Hi, Diane. You guys, if you are not a designer, I would love if you would sprinkle. Thank you for all the prayers, guys. Um, Laura, I'm so excited, too. I'm really excited to decorate for, for fall. <laughs> we did all the Christmas stuff, but um, I am excited to decorate for fall. Let's scooch these guys up. We're going to put them directly into the tiered tray in a moment. Um, should I do shimmer, shimmer frost or just bright white? I kind of think bright white is really is fine. I don't think I need to do shimmer, do I, guys? I do have I do have shimmer here. Let me see if I have another one. I try to use up what I have. I try not to open too many. But sometimes at the craft shows, <laughs> when I forget to take my chalk paste, I'll, I'll open another. Let's go ahead and do shimmer. Okay, so it is not as... Um, let me just grab a stir stick. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let me just add just a tiny bit of water if I can, if my spray bottle will spray just a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't like adding a lot to shimmer because sometimes then it will bleed. But let me just add just a tiny bit. Okay, so this look at this cute spider web. Oh my gosh. And people have bought this to use for other things. So this transfer is almost sold out. If you need it, then you should purchase this transfer now because um, it's going to be gone. <laughs> because people are using it for other things. I would use this for gnomes. I would use this for other little decorations. You could put this on a corner of something. This little spider web is just super cute. You can use this on a picture. Um, oh, let's see. I think we need to use this on our book too. So I think it goes on to the corner of our book. Let me look at my little cheat sheet that I had here somewhere. <laughs> I don't even know what happened to it. Um, I don't even know what I did with it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, let's see. Yes, I do believe. Unless there's a spider web on one of these. Oh, there's a spider web right here. Okay, never mind. Um, I remember there being a spider web for the book. So we're going to use this one for here. We'll use our shimmer. Guys, thank you for all the prayers. That is, I am so glad that we are able to be here for each other. Oh, and I didn't put myself in the corner. Let me do that. Um, let me do that. There we go. Okay, there I am in the corner. Sorry, now I'm taking up part of the thing. <laughs> My big old head. Okay, um, let me just grab a squeegee. That one actually has chalk paste on it. It had teal chalk paste on it. All right, so go ahead and spread. I'm excited to see this all done up. I think it's going to be adorable. There's going to be a lot of stuff. So there are lots and lots of pieces on this. So not only is the tiered tray going to be uh, completely full, there'll be stuff that I can put around it, which is great. It's nice to have little things, little doodads here and there, little, I don't know, little knickknacks, <laughs> touch keys, whatever you want to call them. Okay, there's one. So all I'm doing is spreading it. If you can spread butter on toast, you can chalk, I promise. And um, just scrape off the excess. Make sure that you're doing that. That's going to help press it through. Look how cute that is. And I missed right there. See? See how I didn't just rip it off like a band-aid? 
I was able to go back and there's like a little bit, sometimes these little fine lines are hard to get everything. Look how cute that is. Let's put it right there for now. We got a second one. And then we'll dry these really quickly. We'll put these directly onto the tiered tray. And that way we can get some of this stuff out of the way and we can create all the little goodies that go onto the tray. There's, there's some cute stuff. The cat will do a little bead of garland. I have my glue gun plugged in so that we can do the little tassel. So I have all of this will post over in my VIP group as a bundle, this big thing, all this goodness. Um, I do have a few chalk paste singles to go with it, but I don't have all these colors, obviously, because the purple and the hay pumpkin, those are not in little packets. So I, I have a limited amount of the packets to go with it, but most of you guys have your chalk paste. So I always have an option over there that you can purchase it. If you have your chalk paste already, there's an option for you to purchase it without that. I am just, I am, um, I have, I'm required to offer it with the chalk paste as a full kit. Look how cute that is. And I missed right there in the center. And don't worry, if something doesn't go all the way through and you don't get it perfect, don't worry because there's going to be stuff on this. Only part of this is going to show through. Okay, I'm going to be plopping these onto the backer sheets and I'm going to wash all these when I'm all done and I can use this over and over. Okay, let's dry these really quickly. Let's put these onto our um, little tear tray. Um, Karen, uh, hi, where's? Halloween kits you want to order. It will be in my VIP group. So it'll post in the VIP group um, at 7.15. <laughs> it's not there yet. It'll post over there. So make sure that you check there. Tony says he will need surgery for his broken neck. Oh my gosh. You know, motorcycle accidents are just so terrible. It's so hard. You know what? I mean, I have almost ran over when, when they, when they start switching lanes and you're switching lanes at the same time, it is so scary. They do that all the time here on our freeways and it's legal. It's legal for them to do that. Like if you're stopped, um, and the, the, um, traffic is stopped, it's legal for them to switch lanes and, and split lanes. <laughs> <laughs> it's legal for them to split lanes. So, okay, we're just going to put this into our tier tray. It just fits like this. So, um, mine are made to just slide right in. Um, there's others that are full circle, and you have to take your tier tray apart. I didn't want that to happen. I wanted it to be easy for you guys. So, go ahead and just, let me see. Let me see if I can get that even. All right. Let me try it again. I try to get... That even with the handle, see how the handle goes like this? I try to get my line, I don't know why, um, even with that. So that way, when I have it facing me, I will always have it facing me with, with it flat. So there we go. There's our cute little thing. I, oh, it's not completely tight. <laughs> Let me tighten it up. I assembled this last night. So I painted this. I painted this gray and then I did a little bit of inking on it. Okay, so there's that. There's that part. See that? I'm going to put that down on the floor. <laughs> How are you, Shelly? Okay, next we have a lot to do. Let's do our little book. Let's just let's just pick something and keep going. This is our cute little talk to our book. And um, I do have this in a kit. I had a little boo-boo there, so I sanded it. But you know what? It just kind of looks like it's supposed to be that way. We'll go ahead and we'll, we'll use on this side. We'll put um, this little, see this little spider web? We're going to put that in the corner. What are we going to put on the book? Um, let's see. I cast a spell on you. So I need to find that piece. We're just going to work through this. I have no method to my madness. I just have madness <laughs> because there's so many pieces. So let's work through this one um, transfer. See the little coffin? We could do that. Our little coffin. I have that painted. Um, we have witch's brew. We have our kitty cats. We have the little, the little um, cauldrons. So there's two kitty cats. There's one that's full um, painted, and then there's one that is the skeleton. Okay, so 
we're just gonna we'll just work through things and we'll get everything done so up here where you can't see all the pieces there are tons of pieces that we are going to be chalking on I have pre-painted everything so if you missed the beginning go back and watch that um, I, I did show the pre-painted stuff in a pile <laughs> It wasn't very organized because there's so much of it. But as we go through each thing, um, you will be able to see it. And let's see, for the book, you know what? Let's just kind of set that to the side. We actually need some of the stuff over here. So let's set this to the side for now. We know we're going to put the this in the corner. Let's go ahead and do the spider web. We'll put that in the corner. I have all these little transfers. Okay, going to put that in the corner and then we'll just keep going okay so when it some of the pieces that we need for here are on the other transfers so let's just keep working back and forth does that make sense okay hi linda how are you so we pre i pre-painted this and we did the tiered tray inserts already so i'll show you those again when it's time to put everything onto the tiered tray i will bring you up to um to me and we'll assemble this we'll put every all these little cuties onto the tier tray okay so we're gonna put this on here this little spider web and then we're gonna set this to the side we'll come back to this book set okay it's just painted like a book set it's not actually books it's painted um that's and it's chocolate okay so that's part of the chocolate kit all right next all right let's find our kitty cat our kitty cat is in this pile somewhere here's our kitty cat there's there's that kitty cat. Um, I painted it black, so that's oh no, that kitty cat is actually this one with the skeleton. So well, let's do the skeleton. There's a lot of pieces. Okay, here's the bubbles for the cauldron. I am not sure what these other little oh this must be part of the cat. Okay, there we go. So this is part of the kitty cat. <laughs> That must be eyeballs, okay, for the other one. So there's another kitty cat that is, I painted it white so I can chalk it black. This kitty cat I painted black so I can chalk the, the little bones. So let's do our skeleton one. So we're, we're not gonna do that in shimmer frost. We'll do that just in white, okay? So let's do this cute little kitty. Tons of, tons of things, so bright white. We'll grab our bright white. Like I said, if you can spread butter on toast, you can chalk. So you're just going to grab a squeegee and you're just going to spread that chalk paste and then you're going to scrape it off. Okay, so you can just spread it leisurely, you know, really easy. And then you're going to scrape. So you're going to scrape it off. That's going to press it down through that transfer to your surface below. Uh oh. <laughs> my dogs then you're gonna peel and here's our cute little kitty cat as easy as that make sure you're just pulling it off slowly in case you have to lay it back down look how cute that is it's so stinking cute we'll set that to the side we have lots of pieces hey marley marley marmar 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 I might have to go beat a dog. <laughs> okay, this kitty cat, we're going to use this for our beaded um, garland. So this one's going to be chalked in black. So we're going to bring in our shimmer shadow. Okay, I'm going to have to go out there in a second. So bring in our shimmer shadow. And let me chalk that. And then we're going to do the eyeballs. So we'll hang on for a second. I need to do the eyeballs. But let me go. Let me go see why she's barking. Hey, come here, come here, come here. If I have to shut you in here, I will. Okay, there's there's our kitty kitty. Look how cute that is. <laughs> All right, hang tight for a second. Let me let me go and bring her in here. I'm just gonna lock her in here. Marley. Marley, hey, hey, why are we barking, huh, why are we barking, guys, come in here, come here, come here, come here, all right, okay, <laughs> so 
they might start wrestling around in here, but at least in here, I, I can't, my seat's like moving. I can get them controlled, hopefully. Okay, so there's our cute little kitty. We'll wait to do the eyeballs in a second here. <laughs> let's go, let's go to this. This is the little coffin. So we'll chalk it in our black also. So I, I painted it white. This is our cute little coffin. It's going to stand. It's going to go into a stand. So just line it up. <clears throat> so all these all these kits are available. If you already purchased the transfer, you can get the little wood kits over in my on my um, website. Let me just plop that in there. So let me plop both things in here. Here's the VIP group. Okay, that's where the full kit's going to be. And then if you just need the wood pieces because you already got that transfer, you're going to go to the Shopify. So here's the Shopify link. So there's the right there. And if you're not a designer, go ahead and sprinkle because I'm going to give away one of these kits to somebody. One of the cutout kits. I can't give away Chalk Couture stuff on here. Not allowed to do that, but I can give away um, one of the wood cutout sets. So go ahead and spread that. Isn't this cute? All these things together are going to be so stinking cute. I can't wait to see it all done up. Okay, and I'm just going to set things to the side. They'll just start drying on their own, but we will dry things when it's time. Go ahead and peel. Look at that. Beware, beware, beware. <laughs> okay, what is next? Um, the Witch's Cauldron. Okay, so I painted, there's there's two layers to this, okay? So there's the, the back layer's purple, and it's just going to get glued on. And the front is just, um, I guess I already chalked it. Oh, I chalked it in gray. It's actually chalked in gray. So, hi, Marlene, how are you? We're making a cute little Halloween cheer tray. So we're going to chalk this in black. I did do the background in gray just to get a base coat on there. And then we have a little, and you know what? It doesn't, it's the same size. Okay, we're going to put Witch's Brew on there. And let's do this in purple. Purple will be really cute. So let's chalk it in our shimmer shadow. It was base coated in a gray color. Okay, we're going to chalk it in shimmer shadow. And then we'll have to dry. Okay, so we haven't dried any of these yet. We'll dry and then we'll keep going. We have lots of little pieces that are right up here. <laughs> that you can't even see yet. So tons, tons of little pieces that are just so cute. So keep hanging in there. All these little pieces are going to make the cutest little Halloween cheer tray. I know it's only July, but you know, guys, we have to get started early. And just like when, if, when you're seeing stuff at the store, when you're seeing stuff at Hobby Lobby, you're seeing Christmas already. And if you don't grab it now, it'll be gone. I promise you. <laughs> So you could either put Witch's Brew or look what you made me brew. Um, I th I'm going to put Witch's Brew on there. And then there is little bubbles. But um, I don't know if we can put the bubbles on there because it's not. I did cut that out. Did I cut that out? Is that the bubbles? No. I don't think I cut out the bubbles. I don't think. Let me see. No, that is not the bubbles. That is something else. Okay. Um, if we come upon the bubbles at some point, we will put them on there. We might be able to just put some of them. Okay, so let's let's dry these. We need to put the eyeballs on the kitty kitty. There's our little skeleton. We have our little thing here. The shimmer it takes a little bit longer to dry. I don't want to blow everything away. <laughs> All my transfers go blowing off the end. The the eyeball ones are trying to blow away. Okay, I think that's good. All right, so. I'm going to fuzz this a couple of times. It's a little damp still. It's, I think it'll be all right. We're going to do this in purple. I'm just going to fuzz it. I have my little fuzzing cloth right over here. Just going to fuzz that a couple of times because it's going on top of that. Let's do it with our little shimmer, shimmer violet. It's not shimmer plum. It's shimmer violet. I'm going to put this on here. So we'll do our little witch's brew. How cute is this? Um, today is going to be a little bit hard for you. No caffeine. Oh, no coffee, which is kind of a tea or Tylenol. What are you eating? Hey, 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 excuse me. Hello. Can I have that? She has a squeegee. Of course she does. Um, and they will chew them up. I don't know why, but they chew everything to pieces. I'm going to go grab that squeegee. 
Oh my goodness, Miss Marley, you are such a little pain in the booty. Okay, there's my little witch's brew. Let me grab my squeegee. <laughs> it's, it's a zoo over here, guys. That is the way my life is. Thank you for finding that for me. Can I have it? Here, can I have it? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's got little teeth marks in it now. All right, we might need that. We might need that one. Okay, so there's that. We're going to glue. Let's just go ahead and glue it on there right now. We'll go ahead and get that glued onto there. And if we, I think there might be something else that goes on there. So we'll, we might find it here somewhere. <laughs> maybe. Wait, maybe. Okay. Um, there's that. And then our kitty. Let's go ahead and do the eyeballs on the kitty. And there is a little, there is a little bow. We're not going to do the bow. I don't think we need the bow. Do we? Do we need the bow? Maybe. Are you having a, a nuclear? Oh, you're talking to um, Halloween too. I love Halloween too, Marlene. Okay, here's the eyeball background. So it's two white dots. So we're going to do it in white, right? White. And then we'll just, we'll dry that really quickly. And then we can do the rest of this. I don't know what color. Because I don't have pink out or anything like that. There's the white eyeballs. Are you eating something off my floor again? Hey, hey, hello. <laughs> you should see the look that Chloe gave me. She gave me the... She gave me the sourest look like, Mom, why are you making me be in here? <laughs> She's so funny. Maybe I should do the nose and mouth orange just, just because. Just because. All right, line that up. So, because I want to put the eyeball in there. You know what? I'll do that. I'll do, um, I'll do black. Okay, we're just going to use our shimmer shadow for the eye and then I'll do I'll do a little bit of let's just do pumpkin for the nose <laughs> and the mouth it is a Halloween cat after all so you can do whatever you want if you want to grab some pink out of your thing you can do that look at this look how cute it is <laughs> it's so cute should I do should I do the little bow I can do the bow if you think I should I can. I can do the bow. I just have to dry that really quick. How fun! Okay, so th this is going to stand. The and this is going to stand. I have my little stands here. We can glue some of those together. I don't know where all the other ones are. There's. Oh, here's some other stands. Okay, so I have some stands here. We can glue our stands together so that they're ready. So what I did was I just painted them black. Hello down there below my feet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's glue these little stands together so that they're glued together. If you're not a designer, I'd love if you would sprinkle. And if you are not following me, I would love for you to follow me so that you can see all the cuteness every day. Okay, so just line it up. Line up your little stands. So one of these is for the coffin. And we'll just set it to the side so that it can dry. No puppies. Are you going to be good? I'll let you out if you'll be good. These guys, <laughs> they're scratching at the door. Oh my goodness. They're like, let me out. Okay, this one's for the cat. Once, once it's dry, the kitty cat's going to stand in that. And then this is for something else that we haven't created yet. This is for the witch's feet that we're going to create. Okay. So we're just going to set those to the side. Um, do you think it needs this? Maybe I'll do purple. Let's do, let's do a purple bow on here. Let's see how it looks. Um, part of it's going to be going off. That's okay. We're not going to worry. We're just going to have part of it on there. Let's do our little purple violet, shimmer, shimmer violet on here. This is going to be our beaded um, our little beaded garland. We're going to use this kitty for the beaded garland. Unless I see something else. I think this will be good though. Okay. But we're going to do the, we'll do the beaded garland last. Okay. So there's our little kitty kitty. All right. So we have a few things done. We have the witch's brew. We have beware. We have this kitty here. And then this cat. We'll just let this dry. Let's set. And we, and we're working on our, 
um, book. Okay, so that's all from the very first one. If we want to put some, let's put some bubbles in here. Okay, let's use our take note. Let's put some bubbles. We'll just use this. I know we can't put the bubbles atop because I didn't cut them out, but let's put these bubbles that are right here on there so that we just have some bubbles in there. We're just, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna use my stir stick. If you don't need to do a huge area, you can just use your stir stick to just do something tiny. All right, there we go. Perfect, perfect color. Okay, so we have our first um, transfer of all of our tiered tray stuff done. We have our tiered tray little inserts done. So we have that part done. So so we just need to, hi Bridget, how are you? You overslept? I wish I had overslept too. Can I go back to sleep too? <laughs> it's all right. I am so happy that you're here now. I'm gonna move these to, and put these to the side for a moment. We'll come back and we'll do our beaded garland with that. Let's bring in some other stuff, okay? Let's figure this out. Here's what we got. So by, um, process of elimination, we will get all of these things done. We have some little tabs that go on the back. I'll show you how to do that. And we have a little stand for something. I don't know what we're going to put in it. We'll figure it out. We will figure this out as we go, guys. Sometimes you just have to do it, right? <laughs> oh, do it. I don't, Kelly. Nope. I did not get extras at all. I, I had enough that I gave some away um, already to my team. Um, but yeah, no, it went so fast. Okay, sorry, I'm cutting backwards and sideways. I wish I had extras. I always have extras, but not this time. Not this time. Sorry, sweetie. I, I'm always happy to share when I get some. Hey, guess what? We got we got kind of a little um a little sneak peek, not in the way of seeing what color next one is. Um, but we get we heard something. Um Oh, hang on a second. Lori, you have a stress test today. Oh, good luck with that. You're good. You're going to do good, right? Um, I've had them before and sometimes they can be stressful. Stress tests can be stressful. So, um, good luck with that. Don't, don't stress over the stress test. It will be fine. You will be fine. So, okay. Witchy vibes. We might use this on the, on the side of the book. Okay. We'll put something on the front, but, um, we can use something on the side. So some of these words we're going to set to the side. Let's just get it all cut apart. You know how I am. You know, I cut sideways and backwards and all of that, all that because of me being left-handed. <laughs> Here's our little pumpkin stuff. We can put the little jack-o'-lantern faces on them. This is for one of our things. We have our trick-or-treat. I'm just going to cut everything apart and we'll just start working through it all. And what was I saying about, oh, a sneak peek. Okay, so we got kind of a sneak peek of the next um, chalk paste, but we didn't see the color, but we were told that it is it is named after um, someone that, um, a, a man that we admire. I think that's what they said. Was that what they said, Tracy? Um, it's it's name, those that were on the call last night. Um, it's named after a man that we admire and that we look up to. Okay. So the name, and guess what guys, <laughs> I get to create some things ahead of time. So, so I, I'm forgiven. And once again, I'm going to be able to get it ahead of time and create some things. And then on the day of, on the day of, once it's released, I will be able to release a cute little video showing you guys how to make it. <laughs> so, um, so I actually have some coming. I, I got a message that I have some of the chalk paste on its way and that I cannot release it early. <laughs> Remember the oopsie that happened? Yeah, that cannot happen again. <laughs> okay, I put a spell on you. I think that um, I think that this one needs to go onto something else. I, I was gonna put it onto onto here. But I think this should go on here. Maybe we could do two. Hey, let's do this. Let's use it for here as well. And I'll do it in purple. But we'll use it on here. I think it goes on this little sign. Yeah, I think I made it to go on there. Okay, so let's use it twice. We'll, we'll use it in purple both times. Um, you're not surprised. Yes, yeah, it was an amazing color. I only... Uh, this is the first time I've used it because I didn't really want to use it because <laughs> I'm sad that you guys didn't get it, 
but um, but it's perfect for this. Okay, so this is going to go on here. All these cutouts are available in um, on my website. But also, if you want all of this, if you didn't get this and you're going now, you're going. I should have got it. I have everything for you guys. I have the transfers. I have the wood cutouts. I have the little chocotour things. I actually even have um, eight of the tier trays that I have for sale. So. Um, if you need that, I have it. Okay, so we're going to use this on the book as well, on the front. So we'll have a little sign that we can put off to the side, and then this is also going to go onto the book. So I'm going to stand up so I can kind of center that on my book, and I didn't get the corner of that. You want to make sure you got everything before you peel this whole thing off. Okay, Okay. so the next, the next color is going to come on the 1st of August. I'm so excited. Okay, that's going to go right on there. Okay, and then we're going to do it here also, just like that. So just lay it down and kind of, I'm going to just kind of get all those little air bubbles out by going up. And then I have chalk paste on my squeegee. So I think I have enough already on my squeegee. I don't need to grab any more. And then I'm just going to pull down and I'm going to make sure I have everything covered. And then we'll just peel that off again. So this is our little book. So this is the Chocotour book that comes in their little tiered tray kit. Look how cute that is. That is so cute. We're going to set this to the side again. We're going to keep coming back to our book. Okay, so we have that. We have this. Okay, we'll glue that together in a moment. We have our cute little pumpkins. Let's do our cute little pumpkins. Let's do one of them in Hey Pumpkin and one of them in our little, in our orange. Okay, so our orange peel. So let's peel this off. You got the you got this little kit as part of oh oh that's nice. You got the little kit. Yay. All right, part of your mystery box. Awesome. I know some of you guys got the kit <laughs> in that mystery box. There there were so many different things. I actually had a lot of fun with the mystery boxes because they were not all the same. They were a lot of them were different. I'm gonna just um chalk this with my with my little stir stick, okay? So once upon a time, and I've told you guys this, some of you haven't heard it, I did a class. I did I did my very first um, make and take, and it was with Girl Scouts, and I forgot my squeegees. So we just pulled out all of my little gift cards. Actually, I need to squeegee that off. It needs to be cleaned off. So I pulled out gift cards, and we use gift cards to as our spreaders. <laughs> And it worked, and it worked. So you know what? If you don't have enough squeegees, um, use little gift cards. There's people that use the little scrapers that you scrape your batter off of your out of your bowl. Look at how cute that is. We're gonna put a little jack o' lantern face on it too. Okay, this one we'll do with our um, orange peel, and I'll grab another little squeegee. How fun is this gonna be? I can't wait for it to all be done and you to be be able to see everything together. It's going to be adorable. And I didn't do the top part a different color. If you want to tediously do that, you are welcome to do that. I just didn't do it. Stubby, no, you're fine. Stubby got locked out. Hey, buddy. Okay, let me open the door. Mr. Stubby, okay, hang on. I'm coming. I'm coming. All right, there you go. There you go. Go play. Go play. <laughs> oh my gosh. It might get loud here. You know how that is. My house my house is always a little crazy. Okay, so let's let's set the pumpkins to the side. We have we have cute little faces, jack-o'-lantern faces we'll put on that. But let's move on to something else. All right, we have witch's legs. So let's do our little witch's legs. And we're going to do purple. Okay. So should we, I think we should do black shoes. And this is going to stand up, stand upside down in one of the little thingamadiggies, one of the little stands. Um, check to see if they have still have wild lime. Yeah, wild lime is a good color. Um, wild, yeah, wild lime is a little lighter. I, I almost pulled it out. This is wild lime. So wild lime is, is not the same, but it's close. 
<laughs> All right, here's here's our purple stripes. So we're gonna do purple stripes and then we'll do black on the bottom. Okay, so let me do purple stripes on these witches leggies. And then we'll do black on the bottom. And this is just gonna go into the little stand. Okay, so black on the bottom. I'm gonna grab my little multi-tool. You Generally, you'll use a variety of tools. It's good to have a lot of tools, but if you are just starting out and you don't have a multi-tool, just cut some of your little minis in half. A lot of times you'll have the minis from the kits, different kits that you've purchased. Um, or you'll purchase a big pack of the mini squeegees because that's, it really does make sense to have that. Okay, let's peel this off. There's our cute little witch's shoes. How, how fun is that? The little legs. I love that. Let me hold it up to show you guys. It is super cute. She, okay, so yeah, wild lime, wild lime will be a good color. Perfect. There you go. Okay, so there's that. All right, what's next, guys? Let's do, let's do this, this little sign. All right, and then we'll do this. We have this, this is one of the little chocolate tour surfaces that will go right in there. Okay, so this is gonna glue on here. And I think, oh, I don't, I didn't cut out the cat. Okay, so I didn't cut out the cat. We're just gonna do this in black, okay? So just gonna do the whole thing in black. I'm trying to make it easy. If you wanna do multiple colors, please go right ahead and do that. I just don't want to be all day with this with you guys because I know you have places to go, people to see. <laughs> so take some of your shimmer shadow there. I know, isn't this great? I just, I just love it. <laughs> oh my gosh. How fun is this, guys? Okay, so we were also told on the color that's coming up, it's a color they've never done a color like that before. She said, we've never done something like this before. So I I don't even know what to expect. <laughs> I'm pretty excited to, to see. I should have it by Saturday. I should have mine in my hands um, as one of the one of the people that is a I don't well, I don't know what they want to call me. <laughs> but anyways, I am, I am one of the people that show people how to do this every single day. So I am one of the top people that do that. So I get to sometimes have um, things ahead of time. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I love this. Now these will be really cute on a bottle. How cute is that? I love it. The detail is fabulous on these. Okay, so that's going to get glued onto this one. Okay, so that's getting glued onto there. Let's move that out of the way. I do have some other things that I need to put stuff on that I really hadn't planned on. I don't know what all I'm gonna put on there. So I had signs to put these things on, but this one I'm gonna go ahead. Will this fit in there? Let me see. I don't think it's that size. We're gonna go ahead and put this one inside of here. So we'll go ahead and do that one inside there. And then trick or treat, we can just do trick or treat on here. I don't really have um, creeping it real. Um, oh, we could put creeping it real. And then here's a little kitty cat that looks like it's kind of creeping. We could do that. Or should we do it? Um, I'm trying to think of what I'm gonna put on here. <laughs> yeah, I have my little trick or treat that went with this. That goes better with the black. Maybe creeping it real and then the kitty cat goes there. How about that? Maybe that would be better. I I do have um, little cutouts for all these things. Okay, so I have little cutouts. What else do I have a cutout for? A little bat, a little bat for here. Okay, so this must be for the kitty cat. All right, I'm just looking through. Sorry, told you guys I had to work through through things to, with you guys. Okay, so let's do our little, I think this is our trick or treat. Let me make sure. Yep, so we'll do trick or treat on here. Let's do it in white. White's going to stand out really good. And if you notice, I haven't been fuzzing these and they're fine. <laughs> so, and everybody waxes and you don't have to, guys, and you just don't. All right, so I know. People spend a lot of time waxing things and you don't have to. And if you're here in California and you wax stuff, 
and you take it to a craft show and it's hot, that wax is going to get all melty on you and it's not going to look good. So don't waste your time waxing everything. You honestly don't have to. Have I had a fail because I haven't waxed? No, <laughs> I have not. I have not. Okay, so there's that. Our cute little trick or treat. We're going to put it on here. So we will glue that on. Um, I think I might have some sticker things, that, but we're, we'll just hot glue it on just because. Okay, and then creeping it real. I don't know. I don't know if I should do that, um, but let's do this first. What else do I have? I have look what, look what you made me brew. I think uh, creeping it real goes on there. I don't know what this goes with. Something that, something here. <laughs> I don't know. I have extras. Okay, I have the little hat. I have um, the little witch's hat. So I think um, if you take wild lime and you mix small pesto, it might get darker and brighter. Might, you know. Um, influencers, thank you. I'm an influencer <laughs> and I don't even remember it. No. Yeah, it's it's true. That's what they call us is influencers that um, influence you guys. I'm going to just press this down in here. So that's why I get to have things early sometimes to show you guys, but I don't get to show it to you early. I get to make products so that I can show you when it's time. <laughs> there's, there's a fine line right there. Okay, let's do this all in black. We're just going to grab some of our shimmer. Um, and I do have, I do have the bat cut out. So we can do the bat after we'll just lay that back down and that'll just give it some dimension. Do you think I should throw some, um, some orange in here? Maybe I should do the outline in orange. Let's do the center in black and let's do the outline in, in, no, we already have orange guys. We have to do it all in black. We already have orange unless we do purple. Now that's too many colors. Let's do it all in black. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sometimes. I don't want to do too many colors on each little project. I want to make sure that it doesn't look um, too gaudy, you know? I'm trying to just make it simple for you also. So I just I just pressed this down in here. I might have a little oopsie where I just kind of moved the little corner, but I'm not worried because you can just ink the edges and make it look like it's supposed to be rustic. Yeah, don't worry, don't stress looks good okay it looks good look at that look at how cute that is okay so if you want to have the bat be 3d just lay this down on top of the little bat and go ahead and do your little bat and then we'll we'll glue that since that as soon as that dries we will glue that in there so it, it's right on top of that okay move that to the side okay <laughs> what's next all right let's let's do this right here. Let's do our little kitty and we're going to do creeping it real and the cat's going to be just like poking its head up. I actually have the cat. Um, I have the kitty right here. Um, oh yeah, let's do the kitty here. It has little bats. Okay, so we have the kitty head and we're going to do that in black and then the creeping it real. That should probably be in black also. There's a lot of black on this guys. <laughs> a lot of black and you can do other colors. We could do, we could do, um, oh, maybe we should do creeping it real in our um, take note. So we have a little, little more green on here. Let's do that. Okay, so we'll have, we'll grab some green and I'm gonna grab another squeegee from somewhere. I have my basket here. I just need a small one, hello. Okay, they're a little small one. So this is our take note. You can use any color, guys, honestly. I said I wasn't really going to use it much. I'll probably just use it a couple of times with Halloween stuff. I don't like using something that everybody can't have. Okay, designers, listen up to me. So Miss Brandy was is concerned that some of you are going to feel bad if you forget that you only, designers only get the little cutout that goes with next month's transfer if they place an order this month. If you place an order this month, next month's transfer and that cute little pumpkin cutout will come with it. So that's the way it works. If you don't place, if you don't place an order, you don't get that transfer. So it's only to the people that place an order before, the month before, so 
if you have not placed your order, it doesn't matter the, the dollar amount, okay? And right now, for, for designers right now, we are getting flat rate shipping. We're getting flat rate shipping just like um, our customers get. So $8.99, you get flat rate shipping right now. So make sure you place your order so that you don't feel bad and you go, oh, I didn't get it. Um, she's worried that you guys are going to feel bad. Okay, I'm not 100% sold on this. <laughs> I'm not 100% sold on that one, all right? But we're going to go with it, and we'll put a little bow on it. Um, if all else fails, put a bow on it, right? <laughs> we have some extra pieces here that I don't know what they go to. Um, they're, they go to something. They go to something that we did. <laughs> Here's a little witch's hat. Um, let me just go like that. Witch's hat. Ooh, oh, witch's hat should be purple. I love purple witches hats. <laughs> so this is our shimmer violet. You might have other shimmer um, purples. There's there are several that we've had. Okay, there's that. Look how cute that is. There's lots of little detail. I love all the little details on it. Okay, next is going to be. So these are just extra little signs in case you don't have this other stuff. You can put you can put these things on there. Those are just extra little signs that you're gonna have. And I'm not sure what this goes to. That's an extra. <laughs> let's okay. So let's finish up. And I I don't know where this little this little is it on something. Oh, where is he? Where is there has to be a little crow somewhere. Maybe I maybe I dropped it. Okay. Um, let's do our little pumpkins. Let's do the faces on the pumpkins that's dry now. And then, oh, here it is right here, right here. So here's a little, here's a little crow. So we can do the crow. I found it. We can put that on anything. And then we'll do our little faces, our little pumpkin faces. So one, two. So I'm just plopping it on there. You don't like, um, they're trying to make us buy monthly um oh yeah and that and they are so because the re, you know the, that's part of the whole thing they do want to, they want you to buy monthly <laughs> yeah so they're so they're incentivizing incentivizing you for buying monthly so yeah that's exactly what they're doing they they want to help they want to help teams continue um to have their teams be there so remember if you Sometimes, like like this last time, they just let everybody stay. But if you don't have your 100 PV by the end of the quarter, then you're gone. So if you buy a little bit each month, then, then you'll have your 100 PV. So they're trying to help that way. So you don't have to place a big order. You can place a small order. It doesn't have to be anything big. Sometimes I just place a teeny tiny order. There's been times when I have just bought a squeegee, <laughs> a squeegee to get my transfer early. Um, so yeah, it doesn't have to be a big order and shipping is flat rate right now. So that's a good thing. Okay. There's my little crow. I don't know where that's going to go. All right. And then the words we're going to, we still need to finish up our book and then we need to get this thing assembled. We need to do the beads. Okay, so on our book, you know what? There is actually a spider here that can be put down the side. Let's do the spider on there. We'll just have the spider just going down on its web. So we're going to grab our little shimmer frost and do the spider. And then I'll, I'm going to dry this really quickly because I need to do stuff on the side of the book and I don't want the I don't want it to um to dry. So, I mean, I, I don't want it to smear. I do want it to dry. I do want it to dry. Okay, so there's our little spider that's going down. Yeah, it, it's a business. They they want you, to, you know, if, if you are going to get the little special deals, then, then you have to um, do the purchases. But, um, you know, if you don't care about getting it, then don't worry. A lot of people can cut it themselves. Okay, there's my spider. Okay, here's all my words that I have to put on the side. So um, here's all the different words that we can put. So we can put, we can just put have a happy Halloween if we want to. Um, 
or we can put um, spooky witches vibes. I think we should put spooky witchy witchy vibes. I think that's what we should put. We should center it, right? Should it be centered or should it be up at the top? And what color should I do? I think I want to do spooky witchy vibes. Okay, we'll save this for something else. Um, okay, all right. Let me just get rid of this person. Hang on. Mohammed, you're 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 dead to me. <laughs> I am trying to remove this person. Um, suspend him. Ban him. There we go. Ban him from the page. All right, he's gone. <laughs> see how fast? I know. Yeah, see how fast I I got rid of him. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yes. Okay, so should it be centered or should it be to the left? Or should it be like staggered? Okay, so we'll do spooky first. Tell me if it should be centered. I'm kind of thinking centered. But but books are to the left, right? On books on books it starts to the left. Somebody tell me. Centered or to the centered or to the Someone tell me. <laughs> Opinions? Should it be centered? Since it's, since it's a crafty thing, maybe centered, right? Um, I think I'm going to do it in purple. We'll do, we'll do purple and then we'll do a, um, a, a, a green one and then we'll do purple. How's that? Okay, there's spooky. All right. Center. Okay, yeah, trolls. Yeah, you delete them. I delete them all the time. I'm telling you, spooky witchy vibes. Um, let me dry that. Okay, we're almost done. This is the last thing on here. Then we have to assemble beads. And we're going to put everything together. <laughs> so we'll do green on this. We'll do, so we'll just grab... A little bit of green. Like I said, any colors are fine. Okay, you don't have to do the same that I do. I just do these for a suggestion to give you ideas. But we are all different and everybody has a different color scheme. Maybe yours is just simply black and white. Maybe you have um, brighter colors that you like. Okay, well, let me dry this really quick and then we'll do purple at the bottom. Okay, we're getting there. <laughs> we're getting there. I knew this one was going to take a long time. That is why I did all the painting ahead of time. I pre-painted because who wants to see me paint and chalk for two hours? <laughs> we're coming up. We're, we're at an hour now. Um, hour and three minutes, according to Switcher Studios. Okay, there we go. Look how cute that is. Super cute, and we have this on the front. Okay, so I can set that to the side. And then let's let's glue some of this stuff together so it can be setting up. And then we'll assemble our beads. Okay, so let's let's move all this stuff. I think we're done completely on chalking. We can move this, all these little squeegees, and I can wipe this right here where I made a mess. <laughs> it would not be a show if I didn't make a mess, right? Okay, so we have a few things to glue on that can be setting up while we're doing our beads. Okay, so let's get our little crow in here. You don't have to. This could actually go somewhere else. So this crow could go on a sign. Um, actually, let's do that. Let's put this crow on one of our, let's put it somewhere. Um, maybe up here in this corner. Yeah, we don't have to add it to here. I think that's fine how it is. That's not a crow. That's a bat. Oh, my gosh, guys. Sorry. We have the crow as well. <laughs> Just tell me what it is. Okay, I'm going to glue all these together. All right. And that goes like that. Okay. So... I'm just not, I'm not 100% sold on this. Hang on tight. Okay, so let me just kind of be, um, let me move things around. 
I, I might, I might do something different here. I might just put my pumpkins like that and put this little crow right there. I'm, I'm not sold on this creeping it real. I could put that onto a little sign. Let's do that. Let's just put it somewhere else. <laughs> I'm not 100% sold on that or this can go here. I'm like moving things around because, because I'm looking at it and going, I'm not 100% sold on that. Okay, this is going to go here. My dogs are going crazy out there. Can you hear them? I hear, I hear their little collars, jingle, jingle. Okay, and then I'll put a little bow up there. All right, so this one I have to use my glue gun, but I want to put something on here because this goes in here. All right, you know, maybe that needs to be on there. Maybe it has to be on there. This creeping it real. Um, we might not use this for anything. <laughs> Unless we put it on here. And then the kitty cat is like in the corner. I don't know. Maybe like that. Okay, let's do that. You guys, I don't always have everything figured out. Sorry. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I have to just punt. Honestly, I don't always have it all figured out. You know, and I could ha I could use you guys' help to, to do that. Okay, so the trick-or-treat is going to go down in here. Let's scooch this up. We're going to do beads in a moment. Um, trick-or-treat is going to go down in here on this. So we want to make sure that it's up high enough. I am going to use hot glue. I do realize that the hot glue is not going to last forever. But um, I don't have my little button things in here, my little um, glue dots. So I'm just going to hot glue that on there. Um, are the surfaces available to buy with, with Chalk Couture? Um, this surface, yes. So these surfaces um, are the Chalk Couture surfaces, the ones that, they're, they're the little kit. So there's the little, um, there is the little book and this little piece here. This is Chalk Couture and this little um, cutting board is Chalk Couture. This is Chalk Couture. So those pieces are Chalk Couture, but I have them. So you can buy the whole thing from me. And then, the, oh, guess what? We didn't do yet. <laughs> we didn't do this. Okay, so this one's going to say, have a happy Halloween. All right, guys. I almost messed up. I didn't. I would have looked over and said, okay. And you know what? Um, we, you don't have to do the whole thing if you don't want to. If you want to just do part of this, you can. <laughs> I totally forgot about the little rolling pin. All right, but I'm going to have to dry it in between each one. <laughs> okay, all right. We would have been going, oh, what goes on the rolling pin? Okay, let me just lay that right there and we'll dry it. <laughs> I know. Um, yeah, you can switch things around, absolutely. So, um... Yeah, the chocolate tour ones, you can purchase the chocolate tour stuff, but um, but I have all my little cutouts added. So you don't have to do all of that. You can do just the minimum. Total, it's totally up to you. All right, we're going to just stick with our black and do all of this in black. This is our shimmer shadow. All right. Almost there, guys. And then we'll do our beads, and then we'll assemble everything. It's going to look so cute all together. I cannot wait to see it all together. It's a lot of pieces, and I thought about breaking it up into two projects, but we have so many projects. It's shipping going down in August. Um, we don't know yet. Um, they are, they're looking at shipping changes. I mean, right now... With you know, I mean, shipping costs us a lot, but they're already subsidize, subsidizing ch shipping. Um, just like I do a lot of times with orders that that you guys place, um, your shipping is not always covered, a hundred percent. A lot of times, I'm paying um some of that shipping myself because it just costs a lot. 
Um, shipping, shipping is just outrageous for, for businesses. And then you also have your shipping supply. So you have your tape, you have your boxes. And for them, they have their labor. So for them, it's not just... Um, it's not just the shipping part. It is also the handling, shipping and handling, which means they have to pay a worker to pick your order and to box it up and make sure it's going to get there in one piece. So shipping and handling. So that's, there is talk about them wanting to make changes. We all would love to have um, shipping be flat rate all the time. They're looking at things. So they're trying to see what, what can they do as a company to help us and what can they do as a company that still keeps them from not sinking. Okay, so. All right, cute. That is really cute. Okay, so that's done. Yay. And then this needs a bow. I do have my glue gun plugged in. Let's just do a little teeny bow for this. If this works, I, this is a tiny piece of ribbon I grabbed. <laughs> so, so we're hoping, so stay tuned. Um, I don't think it's going to happen in August. My guess is, um, honestly, my guess is it's going to, my guess, my guess is it's going to take a little bit longer than that. Um, because they, we did talk about it in Emerging Leaders last night, but there is nothing set in stone yet. And in my opinion, it takes longer than them just going, we're thinking about this, to them actually doing it. Okay, so so I, in my opinion, it's going to take longer than, hey, it's going to start in August. Um, but you never know, because they just threw us that shipping deal that they don't, they don't ever do um, flat rate shipping for designers, but they just did. They just did through the end of the month, flat rate shipping. So, and there are all the patriotic stuff. For designers, it's 50% off. For customers, it is 30% off, which is awesome. So go grab that. It's in the specials. Okay, so there's that. <laughs> Yay. Okay, and let's let's get these guys all set up. So this these are the little witch's shoes, and it's going to go into this one. I like to glue these in there. I like to glue it because then it stays, and you don't have something detaching itself. Let's put some glue on the back. And we'll just stick this into the little stand and it should stay right in theory in theory it should stay um let me get some of that glue down into the hole okay so hopefully hopefully that will stay so there's that one that's the little witch's feet and then the kitty kitty that is um the one that has the little skeleton that one's going to go in here let's put the let's put the glue inside of it let's do that it's part of everything going up it's frustrating though so it is frustrating for me that they did away with um first class however we've been able to print a few first class shipping labels this week so for us our shipping went up um there's no longer the three dollars and fifty cents or four dollars and fifty cents it's the minimum is like um four four fifty to six fifty for something small. Okay, what else goes? Oh, this goes in it. So the, the headstone goes in this one. Alright, so that goes in that one. We'll put a little bit of glue right in there. And then we're gonna do our beads and then we're gonna assemble. So thank you for hanging here with me. Um it really is a lot of fun to create. I love being able to make projects with you guys. It's this is my favorite part of the day, I promise. As soon as I'm done here, I go in there and I start my bookkeeping. That is not my favorite part. Okay. All right. These are all glued. These are all ready. We're going to do our beads really quickly. That's an extra. Um, let me find a little thing to put some in. I don't know what pattern we're doing. There were extras of certain colors. So we're just going to do some, some type of a pattern. There were extra of the solids. Okay, so this solid um, yellow, this solid orange, this solid um, like solid color. We may we might not use all of these. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this. I think that I have a little hole punch. Okay, I'm gonna hole punch this. <laughs> you think they need to pick the right packaging for the right order? Absolutely. You ordered a sticky mat and a few transfers and four ink. Yes, they they absolutely need to pick the right thing. Um, do you have extra cutouts to buy other than 
what's in the kit. Yes. Um, yes, I do. I have all of that. Yeah, that's that's on the on the website that I put there. So it is. Um, let me see if I can reply just to you. It's in the Shopify. Whoops, not that one. That's not the right one, Darlene. <laughs> let me tap on the right thing. I'm trying to add it. Um, I use boards and I have everything in here. There we go. Okay, so the, it's in, yeah, it's in this um, little website. Okay, so I want to put a hole in here. Um, and I am thinking, so I was, what I was going to do is I was going to put it between, like on the forehead. I don't know if this is going to work, guys. I might totally mess it up. Um, maybe I should put it over on the side. Let's put it by the tail, okay? <laughs> That's probably a safe place. And I am, I am actually using a hole punch to do this. This is, this is um, like the creative memory one. Okay, so there's my hole for my kitty. And that way the whole cat shows. Okay, now I'm going to do my little tassel. Okay, so I did wind this around my hand like about 30 times um, last night. So I have my tassel part already. And then this is my this is my string that's going to wrap around it. But you need to have your little tie. So so this I just wound around my hand like 30 times. Um, this is going to come with your set. Okay, so this is going to come with the bead set. And then you're going to take the long piece and you're going to tie this through it and tie a knot. Okay, and I do have my hot glue gun plugged in because we're going to need that for, in a moment. And we are going to go like this. And tie that okay so then this part down here is our tassel so you need to wrap this one around there so this one's gonna wrap around this top part by the string there's our string that we're gonna string the beads on this is gonna get wrapped around here I like to just get it started and then I'm gonna kind of switch hands with it I'm gonna switch hands and I'm gonna go like this and get this all wound up like this Okay, so wind that all around there and then we're going to glue the end. As soon as we get to the end, we're going to glue that with our hot glue. Okay, and then we're going to grab a squeegee to, to fix that. Um, yeah, these would be really fine on a fall tree, definitely. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue and I'm going to grab a squeegee to press that down in that. I'm not going to stick my finger on that. My squeegee is going to take all that heat, okay? And there we go. So that that's my little tassel. I'm going to cut the ends. And now I can find my scissors to cut the ends. I'm going to cut this all just right about there. Yeah, I'm cutting backwards. <laughs> cut all that off and I have my tassel, okay? All right, so now we can thread all the beads um, through there. And then we'll put the cat on the end, okay? So the kitty cat's going to go on the very end. So I'm just going to start threading beads through. And I might have to, I might have to put some, um, let's, do, let's use some glue on the end. So take your glue, let's do this. Let's put some of this glue on the very end to just make it so that it is kind of stiff on the end. Okay. And we're just going to do a pattern, okay? So we're just going to do a pattern here and do some of our beads just pretend that you're in kindergarten and do a pattern <laughs> i don't really know what pattern i'm going to do i'm just going to do i'm going to do my solid ones and then i'm going to do one of my um, striped or my plaid and i'm just going to keep going until i have enough beads okay so i wasn't really sure exactly what i wanted to do because the little bead set that came with it was not, it wasn't, there was not an even amount of beads. So um, there were different amounts. <laughs> so when you get it, you're going to have to figure out your pattern. I'm going to do the best that I can to give you a decent amount um, that will make a cute pattern. Okay, so let's put these on. Let's pull this up and let's see how much we have so far. Sometimes it's hard to get it through. That's why I'm using the little tiny jute. Okay, so that's what we have so far. And we're just going to keep going. We're just going to keep doing our pattern until we think we have enough. 
<laughs> just pretend you're in kindergarten and your teacher asks you to do a pattern with something and that's what you're going to do so um it may not make sense to you but it will be fine and and you know what it doesn't have to be perfect if you want to do random you can do random i like to do a pattern because in my head otherwise my ocd kind of gets at me if it's not a pattern the be the beads were from two years ago um from amazon so um all you do is search just search halloween beads on amazon and these actually came in really small so it's hard to know you need to look at the size i have no clue what size this is it was in millimeters and when they came came in they were super small okay so we're getting there we're about halfway done <laughs> So just keep going. All right. So how's your week going, guys? You having a good week? I'm having a good week so far. What time is it? It's 8 o'clock. I am supposed to log in for work. <laughs> Un momento, please. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not still doing this when my daughter-in-law shows up. She gets here at 8.30. So we're almost done. We are almost there, guys. We are getting, we are getting there. At least this way I will know how many beads that I need to have for you because I really didn't know um, how many to do for for this. So I just kind of guessed, and I think I guessed pretty close. I think we're gonna be, I think we're gonna be pretty close. Look at how, how long it's getting to be. So we're almost there. We are almost there. Uh, yes, yeah, um, it's, it's really easy on Amazon to just Google, um, just, just search. Okay, I'm gonna have to use a stylus. Sometimes there's stuff stuck in the center of a bead. Use a stylus to clean it out and just push through it. Push through. <laughs> just keep going. Don't stop, all right? Just keep going. Now, I know some of you guys had to leave. That's fine. Um, you can come back and watch the replay. We all have our lives, right? But you kind of get to see, you'll get to see the finished product and you can go back and you can watch and and um, and say, hey, I, I need to get a closer look and see how she did that. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. We have one more set of the plain beads and then we will tie on our cute little kitty cat and then we'll put everything on the tear tray. Okay, so we're at an hour and 22 minutes. Not terrible. It is not terrible. It could be worse. Could be worse, guys. All right. Now, tying, the, tying this on to the kitty cat can be a little bit difficult. Um, we're gonna probably tie it on and then we are going to um, hide this part in the back. I usually will thread it through the beads. I don't think we're gonna be able to thread this through the beads because the beads are so small, okay? So sometimes that can be a problem and that's okay. Um, we always figure out a way to do this. Okay, I'm going to tie my knot somehow. Darlene is going to tie a knot here. You don't want it to be so tight that they don't move. Okay, so you want your knot to be tight, but you also want to be able to move those beads because if you can't move your beads, then there's no point in doing this. Um, if they're just like so tight that you can't do anything with it. Okay, so we're going to just carry this to the back and we're going to just glue that right there. All right, so that's, I normally don't do that. I normally would thread it through the bead, but these beads are tiny. Okay, so I'm just going to glue that right there. I'm going to grab my little squeegee again and press that down. And then I'm going to go ahead and trim that. Okay, and then we're gonna assemble this all. We're gonna bring up our tear tray. We're gonna put everything together and um, we are done. <laughs> yay, yay. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to clean up all my transfers and my chalk paste. Let's scooch this to the side. Let me bring you up to me. All right. Here's our tear tray. So we did, so we did the center pieces. We did all of these first. Okay. Let me stand up and oops. <laughs> the dogs will eat those beads. They'll be pooping beads. Okay. So some of these things aren't going to fit, but we are going to put, we're going to put on what we can. I like to put that like Right, it right front and center. This will probably just be right here, and then this can stand up here. We do have some little stands for things to go in. 
we do have these little these little stands that um, we can glue on the back of things okay so the these little stands can go on the back all right so what you do is you glue this and then this goes in it so you you glue that part see that little part there let me I'm gonna go down onto here again okay so see this right here so you glue that and then this goes here and it keep and it and you can stand it up so I always go up a little bit higher so that it um, is just a little bit higher let's put these on the things that we're gonna put them on I actually want to put one onto onto here onto the back of this Let's do this with our hot glue gun <laughs> since I forgot to do it with um, with my glue. Okay, so glue that right there. It is going to show just a little bit on the other side. Okay, so these are little things on the back. And let's do it on this one also. Okay, so these are just, these come with it. And then we're going to glue these guys in. And then it'll be it'll be ready okay so then these will stand okay so you'll be able to you'll be able to have these standing let's see let's just put some glue right in those all right there's my glue gun we're almost done <laughs> it's a long one guys all right and then let me put you back back up to myself. There we go. Okay, so now we have those. Those will set up in just a second. And let me get stuff that's out from here. Okay, so we have this little, we have our little thing there. We have our beads. Okay, so the beads, I usually just drape the beads down here. So there's our little kitty. And we can just drape our beads like right down here. However you want to. We have our little witchy legs. This this can go in here if you want it to. This can go in the little stand. These things can all stand along here. This is just extra. This can go anywhere. It can just, it can either, or it can even go in this thing. Okay, so anywhere that you want it. It can go on the other side. Like if you want this to be um, two-sided, okay? So you can put stuff on the other side. These can all go around. See how they just stand up now? <laughs> maybe, maybe they don't. Maybe I did that one wrong. Uh oh, I might have to. I might have to adjust that one. Okay. Oh yeah, you guys, you guys, that one I need to pry off. Okay. So what I'll do is when I when I'm done, I'm gonna pry that off. I put it too. I put it too low. It needed to be higher. Okay. So that one I'll. On, I'll go and use a screwdriver. Okay, there we go. How's that? It looks kind of cute. I think it, I think it's cute. I think it's going to be nice. So um, there's just a lot of pieces. So you can fill it so it's double sided if you want. There's this little witch's hat that can go right there. I will fix this. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's super cute. I I love everything. Okay. I know it's probably hard for you to see. Let me just see if I can go this way with it. Okay, guys. All right. I don't know what my favorite part is. <laughs> I just think all of it is really fun. Let me go in a little bit. Let me scooch this back. All right. There we go, guys. Okay. And I, I just need to pry this off and I'll go fix it. I'll just grab a screwdriver and I will get that off of there and I will glue that back on. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. I got to sign off. I got to go sign on to my computer and start my job. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.